Hello and welcome back to Sen 2. It's early morning this time. It was afternoon yesterday for qualifying and this time it's early morning for the sprint shootout. It's Maxson who's coming out. You can't see him because of how big the pit wall is. But it is Maxson coming out early on again. So the tactics from Haas is get him out. And it looks like he'll be going out first. Well, obviously. To wait for the um, thing to come on and it has green lights are out and Magnuson is a go for this qualifying session I probably will watch someone else though to be focused on Magnuson quite a bit yesterday that's mainly because of that brilliantly brilliant um work the pick through did to get that car back out in time for the end of the session if you missed it you had it he um got on the curb at the exit of um not this corner so the next breaking point, so like, I think it's in three corners time. We've got the foul at turn five, then it's turn six, seven, Jacane. It was on the exit of turn seven, where he went off onto the kerb. A bit deep there, in fact, here. But it's this corner here. He got on the kerb, spun round, was tapped by Russell, which caused him to flip over, I think, once. He only rolled once. So it wasn't, thank you, it wasn't a barrel roll crash. But it did go over. Um, but yeah, Kevin Magnuson... Doing very well. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, the coverage issues and something happened. Anyway, Magson going through turn one now. We'll watch Magson first, like, because why not? Let's watch the first person. And if you weren't here yesterday, then you're on board I'm sure you'll more likely be there yesterday than here today because I mean if you're in the UK it's 10 a.m. better 4 30 a.m. anyway Kevin Maxson going down towards turn five now the flat out left hander can he have a better qualifying session than yesterday it was just a session full of mistakes one place or the other just a mistake after mistake and fortunately the K mag it was not a good enough session for him, especially after winning a few races to go at Russia, at Moscow. And a brilliant race it was as well for him and the team. Well, not for the team. How the hell come up to the right, to be fair? Anyway, as he finishes his first lap, it's going to be first, obviously. But I don't think it has been the greatest laps of all time. He's going to go first, but let's see how long it takes for him to um, potentially... Go down. Still P1 to be fair. So. You never know. No, straight way down to P2. Anyway, let's watch some more laps. Anyone else on a lap at the moment? Let's see. Snowden's just gone set first. Here's Hamilton. He's got a bit in a bit of a trade at the moment. He's got an Alpine in front of him. An Alfa Romeo behind Bottas. And a Ferrari, I think, of Carlos Sainz. And if it's not a sign to declare, he's on pole for tom um, the, um, tomorrow's Indonesian Grand Prix. So, yeah, very good session indeed. As Hamilton goes up to P6, is that lap? Or was he already P6? I don't know. But anyway, Lewis Hamilton doing well. Down to P7 now. A little bit of a train there. We've got Magnussen after an appalling first lap. Is he about to finish lap? No, he's off the track. And just more mistakes from Magnussen. He's going to come into the pits. What happened there? He's going through the final corners. And, oh, just gets on the grass and spins it round 360 degrees. Then on the grass again, just gets on the power of my assuming just a bit too quickly. And then has to come back on the track and try not to get taken out by anyone. I can assure you it would have been a very ugly crash if anything did happen, but thankfully nothing does happen there. Magazine like comes into the pits to get some repairs. Oscar Piastri, the Australian. 
who is currently on provisional pole for the sprint race later on today. He's won one race this season. It was also a sprint weekend. It was not the sprint race. It was the main race of the German Grand Prix on the last lap. It looked like that he uh, lost it. Well, for me, it looked like he'd lost the race, um, not lost the win on the on the line. I'm sorry, I can't think of what I'm trying to say, but um, it's P2 now. Someone's gone faster. P3 now. Someone else has gone faster. So yeah, it did look like he had um, been overtaken by George Russell. It was actually Albon who came onto the pits on the final lap, which we were not allowed to do that weekend because, of course, going into the pits was a lot faster, and you could have won the race. But, um, yeah, that didn't happen. Didn't do a strip for his win, but um, Leclerc goes fastest. Provisional pole sitter for tomorrow's sprint shooter. Um, tomorrow's Grand Prix. He's going to be on provisional pole currently. Lando Norris in P2 in the other McLaren. So, yeah, good for him. Mackerson, how's he doing? P18. Not a very good um, session at the moment. But you never know. He's going to na I'm just thinking of an outlap. So, yeah, he's about to start a lap now. Currently P19. So, right at the back is K-Mag. So let's see how this lap goes for the Dane. And Max now P20. So who's at the best? Have a look at the current grid. See how everyone's doing. The back we've got Max and DeVries, just like yesterday. Joe, Lawson, Drogovic, Sargent, all down there, just like yesterday. Sonoda. Album was up there, to be fair, yesterday. So, yeah, Hulkenberg, Bottas. And Sapin on Peritonal Pole now from George Russell. So, that's good from them. Max and Z, where's he? He's going through the final corners now. The barrier at turn 8, 9 and turn 10 look almost the exact same. And I can't really tell sometimes where they are on track. But, um, anyway, Magnussen's going to cross the line and he's going to go up to P3. So, finally, this weekend, Kevin Magnussen in a competitive session. He's doing it right in FP1, to be fair. But it's finally all oh, curb, 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 big crash, big hit for Kevin Magnussen. He rolls over the barrier. He's upside down. And I hope Kevin's okay. That's a horrible crash. It's the second time this weekend he's gone over. And this time it's even more spectacular. And even more scary, and I hope he's okay. And I'm assuming they're not going to red flag it, just because um, he's run over the barrier. And there he is, climbing out of the car. I'm getting news. So that is the good. That is the news we wanted to hear after a monstrous crash. So let's go back and get a replay of that. That was a huge crash. Just after going P3, after finally. Setting a good lap. It's the biggest mistake he's done this right. Um, this he had, I'm trying to say. Oh, it's a big rear end impact and he just flips over the barrier. What I'm trying to say is he had a lot of mistakes in qualifying the sprint shootout this weekend. That is one mistake too many, and that could be a lengthy care job. Can they even get it out for the sprint? It's a five-hour gap between the sprint shootout and the sprint. Oh, can I get it done in five hours? That is his qualifying definitely over. Spectacularly. Wow. And after finally setting a good enough lap for his standards, he has a monstrous accident. Going back to live coverage now, of course, 10 minutes is the sprint shootout. It was a 20 minute qualifying. Yesterday, but it's a 10 minute sprint shootout here today. If you watch Maxson's teammate, Nico Hulkenberg, currently in P8, he is the more recent race winner between the two half drivers. Of course, Maxson won three races ago in Moscow. It was Nico Hulkenberg who won two races ago at Chang International Circuit or Buram United International Circuit or Buram, whatever you want to call it. He won there. It was Pierre Gasly back to winning race at Motegi. Awesome. Where's a Gasly won this season? He's won at Australia, he's won at um, Assen, and he's won at um, Assen. No, I just said Assen. Mategi as well. 
beautiful circuit Mateki. We had the course MotoGP earlier on that day. No two as well, Moto three, Asia Tower Cup. But uh, yeah. Yeah, that was a very good weekend. For racing, of course it was um was it Martini won last week in the Moto GP, I think it was. Jorge Martin won the um, shortened race because of the weather. It wouldn't have been good for them to race in that weather. Thankfully, it cleared up for the um, um, F1. But I'm surprised it got it cleared up very quickly. It went from heavy rain to the track basically dry in a space of about five minutes when they were able to get the race done. And the F1 almost didn't even go ahead. Um, crazy as it seems, they scheduled the um, t they scheduled the restart to be at ten past ten to eight, um, UK time, ten to four local time. I put it in the pit lane. Before abandoning that lap, obviously not good enough for his standards. And there's no point going out if he's not he's not up on his time at the moment. Anyway, I believe that should be qualifying over. Anyone else off? Anyway, I believe that should be qualifying over. So. Let's go through your grid. It's Joe Guan Yu, two-time race winner this season at the back of the grid. Big surprise that for him. Nick DeVries, 19th again. Lawson, Sargent, Drogovic, Sonoda, all near the back. But it's just not good enough for them. Lawson, P2 earlier on in Italy, only a few races ago. And I don't know. It's the ones that are always near the back, but always show very good race pace. Anyway, Sainz, 14th. Albon, 13th. He's, uh, he's P3, I think, for tomorrow's race. Lance Stroll, P12. Hamilton, P11. Ocon, P10. Bottas, 9th. Hulkenberg, 8th. Leclerc. Paul Sitter for the tomorrow's race. Dana, P7. Piastri, 6th. Gasly, 5th. Reigning race winner from last week. Norris, 4th. Magnussen, 3rd after a monstrous crash. Can he even get it back on the grid for the sprint race tomorrow, uh, later on today? Five hours he's got to repair it. That's just less than that. Be about... Four and a half hours now. Championship leader George Russell and P2. There's Max Verstappen on pole for the sprint race later today. Half past nine. Lights out. To local, um, not local time. UK time. Don't know what time it is local. But whatever it is, make sure you're there. I'll definitely be there. Because I've got to commentate on it. So, yeah, haven't really got a choice. Anyway, I'll see you for that. Goodbye.